Rivers. Cali King. In the morning, Eric V. Nick V. Guess who we got in the studio, Nick V. It's a longtime friend. Let's Special guest. Let's Whoa. welcome him. Hey, well, it's the Baker, baby. It's the Baker boys in the morning. In the morning, it's the Baker boys. And we got a special guest for Vargas. Yo. Good morning. Good morning, man. How was your day so far? Bro, so, I mean, I was in traffic for a little bit. So a little traffic. It was good. I guess there was an accident on the freeway, but, you know, but it's crazy, like rubbernecking, you know? Bro. Because the accident was on the other side of the lane, and, and people were just stopping Oh, you ran to, through to that watch. on the 101, too, yeah. right? Yeah. I ran through that this yeah, morning. Yeah, man, yeah. So, Everybody uh, loves looking at the traffic. I mean, right. this, it has nothing to do with you. Why are you looking? No, yeah, right, bro. It's and, crazy. And it's just it's, it's backed up. But, dude, I'm good here, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm here. All right, let's... It's good, good to see you guys again, yeah. man. It's been a minute. Uh, uh, it's been no? a minute. I want to I take it back to 1997, 1997 since we heard this. Bro. Since I heard this story, brief story, I, I didn't know about this because I was not involved in this whole okay. incident. I There's guess certain things that uh, can't uh, involve uh, Eric. Bro, it was <laughs> yeah, bro. It was 97, man, and, and uh, Nick V and I were rolling. It was, it was your birthday, bro. All right. <laughs> and, and we were, and he's like, "Yo, come on, and you know, kind of hang out for my birthday." Because, bro, remember, we were trying to get you to do a movie. Yeah, uh, back in the day, man. <laughs> what movie uh, was that? It was, I don't remember. It's it called Road Dogs. Oh, oh yeah. 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 And uh, and uh, so I sent the script, and you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make him a star. <laughs> Uh, but then I don't know, man. You, what, 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 what happened, bro? You, you, I'm, you, you, I'm you ready bet. to read now. Oh, okay, you ready now? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you, you just weren't ready back then, bro. I was not ready. Yeah, bro. man. So uh, it, it could have been a star is born. Damn, Nick V. You know. Um, but yeah, bro. But then we were rolling around in '97, and he had like a. a, a you guys had an early um, CD of of a, a Notorious B.I.G.'s Life After Death. Yeah. And bro, we were bumping that man. You yeah. know. Lil, I don't know. Can, can I say, say a little, little bit of hot boxing in the, course, in the in the car, course. man? You know, uh, I, I started uh, because during our early career, I had zero. We didn't want to do have anything to do with any kind of marijuana whatsoever. Even when we were working with B Real Cypress Hill, uh, we're working with them in the studio and stuff like that. Me and Eric were always anti anti, uh, just because we wanted to stay focused, what have you. And come 1997, when I was no longer in the morning show, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take up some marijuana smoking. Okay, okay. And, and, and yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you you were making up for lost time. Bro. Lots of fun. We had lots of fun. It was man. good, bro. Yeah, it was good, man. Cause we were rolling from places. So you were DJing at, like at different spots, man. It was like all down like LA, like in uh, what was it, bro? I forgot. East where, LA. Yeah, yeah, East LA. We just kind of drove all over the place, man. It, it was dope, bro. So I have like fond memories of that, man. That's what's up, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Thanks, that's, that's good, th man. Well, thanks for coming in, regardless of our time that we had together. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, man. Long course, time. Bro. It's been so many years. I don't even can't even do the math right about now. But what has been happening with you, bro? Um, Bro, you know, man, I, I'm since I got married, I have, you know, I have two two girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, my, my, my daughter will be 15 in September. Wow, it's kind of crazy, man. All yeah. right, so let's Wait. talk about having teenagers, man. Yeah, were you prepared, bro? You're never prepared, man. Yeah, you know, like I, I was never prepared to have kids it just kind of happened okay you know but it's been the most amazing don't, don't let them hear you say that uh, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> no, you, know, you know man i think i don't think guys go into it going like i want to have kids it's you know? very rare they're like right they're like uh unicorns but right. they're out the there unicorns. yeah i'm sure they're out there it just <laughs> you know but i you know it just it, it, i knew eventually i wanted to have kids you, you know just don't know when no i just don't know when <laughs> yeah. and and you know um, it happened. So 15 years ago, there, yeah. there was a surprise, a bun in the oven, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, brother. And what'd you name those beautiful young ladies? Uh, Rose, uh, who'll be uh, 15, and then Ava, she'll be eight. I mean, she just turned eight. Ah, yeah, man. Bro, so so it's been amazing, bro. So it's all, they're like the love of my lives, man. What really. do they like to do? What are really. their special things that uh, they like bro, to Rose, do? Rose uh, loves playing softball. She uh, She's into musical theater. Yeah? You know, yeah, man. So like, you know, she's turning 15. So we, we asked her if she wanted a quinceanera, you know, because... She's, she's 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 Mexican and Catholic and yeah tradition. But, you know yeah, but she said you know she kind of booked tradition. She said I don't I don't want a quinceanera. Oh. Uh, I want to go to New York. Ooh. And uh, with the family and go watch Broadway shows. Damn, Damn. that's cool. Yeah, it's cool, man. So we're we're leaving like next week and we're gonna go. You know, for for seven days in New York and just watch a bunch of Broadway so shows. You're taking all of the the quinceanera funds and transferring exactly, it over to bro. Broadway. <laughs> exactly, bro. Yeah, man. So you know, instead of getting everybody drunk for one night, right? What, you what, know, what did the uh, grandparents say? Anything like what? Mia, no, no, bro. They were actually cool with it. That's good. You know, they're, they're saying what? Well, that that's great. Aww. You know, it's, it's great that you you know it, it's 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 uh, it's an experience. 
that, that, that she'll, she'll remember for the rest of her life. So and, do you see the traditions and do you see the culture kind of evolving past that with a new generation? Um, I think so, bro. I mean, I, I see it with, with my kids. I mean, you know, my, my, my niece had a quinceanera and, you know, I got friends whose who's, who's daughters had quinceaneras. But I just feel like with my kids, yeah, man, they, you know, I mean, they're, they're proud of the heritage and they're proud of, 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 uh, of, of their background. But I just feel like they, you know, they want to do their own thing. Okay. Which, which is dope. Jacob it's Vargas cool. in the studio with the Baker Boys. You got a new project, uh, what, Netflix here? I do, man. Uh, it drops um, fr this Friday. Nice. So uh, June 21st is called Mr. Iglesias. Okay. Mr. Uh, uh, is it the, the one only Gabriel it's, Iglesias? Yeah, yeah, bro. So it's with uh, Fluffy Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we play high school teachers ah. um, who, who went to, you know, uh, this, this high school. And eventually we went off, became teachers, and now we're back teaching the kids wow. uh, back in our old hood, man. Yeah. So is this something that he wrote? Is this something with, uh, do you guys just jumped in on the project? Do you? Uh, well, I mean, it's something that, he, that he's been definitely working on. I guess he, you know, was going to be a teacher. Okay. And so he got really inspired. So he said if, if it wasn't comedy, that he was going to be a high school teacher. I didn't wow. know that. Yeah, man. So this kind of allows him to, to live that dream, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, in, in a sense. So Netflix gave him a shot, you know, the, the you know, his, his, he did some Santa specials for them that that were great. So yeah. Netflix gave him a show. So has he ever? Is this a TV show? Is a series? How is it's it? A, it's a sitcom. It's a sitcom. Yeah, it's a sitcom. What's what's cool about this is that it, we shoot in front of a live studio audience, oh. and that's dope, bro. And that's awesome. that's yeah. a little different for Netflix. They usually don't do that, uh, right? You know, they they have some, but yeah, but it's definitely it's definitely uh, a, new, a new thing that you know that's usually usually the uh, the networks do. Yeah. Um. So so it's it's gonna be dope, man. And, you know, what I mean, the, the, what's great about that was you get to feel that that instant energy, energy from the crowd, from, from the crowd. Yeah. So let me ask you this: going to uh, your role as one of the teachers there, it, was there any teachers in your past that you were able to pull from, or, or what? What teacher are you in this series? The cool teacher, the um, the bro. jerk, the okay. what? <laughs> you know, bro. I was you know the, you know there's those, those teachers that that kind of really go out of their way yeah. to yeah. to really like 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 help. You know, mold your mind and and, and encourage help you, you along. Yeah. Help you along, bro. You know, I, I, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> nice, no, bro. My, no, I, I, play, I play Tony, but Tony's Tony's kind of a slacker, bro. Tony just just wants to get by, man. He, he just want you know he wants to do the least amount of work You're possible, the, I'm Tony bro. in real life. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Tony. But, but, and I feel like most of my teachers were Tonys growing up, man. You know? It, it was kind of unfortunate, man. Like, I feel like we got, 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 got kind of robbed a little bit. Right. Our, our teachers didn't really care as much. Um, not all of them, but, you know. But and then, bro, I was a, a teacher assistant. You okay. were? Um, yeah, so man. So you had a little training here. I do. That's I do, cool. bro. And so I, and, I, and I saw just, you know, bro, these teachers were hardworking, man. And, and, and I feel like they, you go in with, like, with with these ideas of changing the world, yeah. man, and then you kind of get hit with the bureaucracy of, of mm -hmm. what's happening. So, are and, you guys dealing with that in the uh, series as well? So, so, yeah, man. I mean, we, we we touch on a lot of subjects, you know, uh, from like you know, like alcoholism to you know, absent parents to to uh, you know, what the hell Latin X means, right? Yeah, you know, right. so so there's a lot of things that. We, but at, you know, at the end of the day, it's a sitcom, and we do it in a very comedic way you know and so have and you ever done comedy before I, I i did man yeah but that's where i you know uh gabe and i go back like 20 years okay damn uh we, we did a, a monologue show called latino logs uh, at the improv ah. uh you know back in the day and uh you know bro we were you know just kind of getting by but but we got it you know we got the tour you know uh you know most of the country that's uh, cool from the show yeah man so it was great right it, it was an amazing experience but then you know i did some movies that were you know, dramatic, and and uh, and I got known as like a dramatic actor. That's cool too. But but I've always loved comedy. All right, what is your favorite to play? What's your favorite roles? I would say that my favorite role is the one that's currently paying me. Yes. Yeah, you know? I, like I mean that. that's that's putting food on the table. That's but, right. Bro, but you know, man, I, I feel like I've been very fortunate, man. I, you know, there's some iconic roles from like you know A.B. Quintanilla and Selena, you know, to like yeah. Joker from Next Friday, you know, Traffic. Um, you know, which won Academy Awards. I mean, yeah. I, I kind of been all over the map. But but this one, bro, I gotta tell you, man, I really enjoyed playing uh, this character and and working opposite Gabe and 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 you know this cast was really was really a joy, man. Like re I came home happy, happy. You know, and, and, and you wake up like I can't wait to go back to work. Yeah, man. You know, and you kind of forget that, especially with the audience, like you you give them something, man. You you know you you make them laugh and and you bring some happiness and joy, joy to their lives. 
Yeah, yeah bring man. some joy to the world. Yeah, man. And, we, and we need that right now, man. Definitely. Yes, we, we, we um, do. We had uh, David Banner in here a couple of days ago, and he we were talking about like you know when you go out for these reads or these parts, yeah. you know you got to read the script, you got you got to go do the read and and be in front of the director and all that stuff, and they got to right. choose you. There was evidently a nemesis of his that would continually get parts from him. <laughs> okay. You know, Common was the one that would always steal the parts from him. Okay. Have you run into anything like this where there's a particular actor that would always like get the part that you actually wanted yeah but I feel like there's always that you know one actor that that that's having his moment you know? yeah so right now you know bro like michael pena yeah. michael pena yeah, yeah bro and we, we always get confused uh for each other you, you know and I, we did a movie together we did chavez where we, we played you know, brothers and, and he's like dude like you know if i had a dollar every time somebody said i love you next friday or i yeah. love you <laughs> Selena, you know bro but and, and the same thing bro i i always get you know, mistaken from, from michael pena and, yeah you know and before i used to try to try to like Correct them, you know, and go like, "Oh no, that's not me." It's like, man, you know. And now I just, I just don't even say. Just anything, go man. along with it. Mm. Go along. I figure like they'll figure it out once they post it. <laughs> right, you know? right, right. You know? Somebody will say something yeah, to them. Bro. <laughs> I, I remember one time it worked out. I had, I had this audition that I was late for, and there was no parking. And I pull up to this like, you know, parking uh, garage, like a private garage. And I told the guy, "Dude, listen, I'm, I'm late for a meeting. Can I park here?" And he's like, "Oh, so." And he goes, "Oh, hey, you, you that actor, bro? Oh, dude." Park your car here. I'll take care of you. I got you, man. I love you. And I'm like, dope, bro. You know, so parked. And, I, and, and it took like an hour. It took a lot longer than I thought. And I came out and I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. He's like, dude, no, bro, it's all good, man. It's all good. And, and he's like, can I take a picture? Like, yeah, man. And I'm about to roll on. And then he's like, I love you, Ant Man. And I was like, I was like, bro, yeah, yeah I, I'm glad you loved it, man. I'm out. <laughs> Uh, All right, Michael Pinion in the House of the Bacon Boys. <laughs> Damn, Nick B, come on. I, come on, you know that. That's, but a, that's a great question, Eric V, and a great answer very much. But it's kind of fun. It's like, man, you're, you guys are both working. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, bro. You know, we had the, the same conversation with, uh, with, with Sherry Shepard. Yeah. On our show, because she gets... Mistaken for uh, uh, Octavia Spencer all the time. Oh, you know, yeah, bro. So, so we have this like like inside joke where you know, she calls me Michael Pena, I call her Octavia. Mm, you know, so funny. yeah, man. It, it you know it happens all the time. Let's, let's talk about. I want to go back to the movie Chavez you were talking about. Yeah. You know, the lack of support within the movie community with people supporting you know Latin films. Yeah. You know, there's been a lot of them, but they don't get the support. So Hollywood kind of sways away from producing more right. you know you have to go outside of hollywood to produce a movie but it's predominantly latin yeah. what, what do you think will change that what do you think will help change that it's, it's, it's a tough question man i mean i just think the the business of movie making is is, is changing it's mm -hmm. hard to get funding for a movie that's not that doesn't have like a studio backing mm -hmm. you know and now the studios are only doing like these super you know Superhero they wanna movies. Make, they want to make yeah, money. Yeah, the big franchise movies. Yeah, man. But think, there's been, you know, along the way, there's been independent films that have really changed the game. Right. You know, in the recent past, you know, the, the one Get Out, you know, they spent this amount of money. They made this amount of money. Right. I mean, come on. There's something to be said there. It can be done. Right. You feel me? So. I, I, I agree, man. I, I agree. I think it's just, you know, it's it's finding the right person to, to, to champion your project. Because, you know, with, with Get Out, it was uh, uh, in Blumhouse. Kind of picked it up, and I think they, they kind of reworked the ending, um, you know, because um, it, it had a, it had a different ending oh, originally, okay. and you know, so they tested it, then they they, they reworked, it, and it just became this this phenomenon, this, this phenomenon, right? And I'm sure you know, I'm sure they're out there, man. I'm sure, but I, I feel like there's a lot of this young generation out there really like honing their craft right now. Yeah. I feel like with technology now, you know, there's no excuse not to be working on something, bro. something. Like, yeah, like you know, like. A YouTube series, right. live stream, yeah. podcast. There's there's 500 things you could be doing right now. Yeah. If you're an actor, because there's actors that are doing podcasts. Right. You know what I mean? And right. they're doing other things. And they're, uh, we had a guy in here yesterday, uh, maybe your cousin, uh, Eric Vincent. Dean, Vincent. Vincent Vargas was in here yesterday. Okay. And they're a Latin artist. Uh, and he came out of the army and started doing this YouTube thing. And now he's on Mayans. The TV show. Oh, okay, yeah, man. So it's yeah. like, wait a minute. I mean, there's there's ways to make things happen out right. there. Yeah, bro. There's a lot of people ask me how how, how can I get into to the business and acting. Now, say, bro, you got it in your phone. Turn the camera on. Yeah, man. You you have you have a camera in your pocket. You know, you get get together with your friends, shoot something. And again, bro, it's not gonna be perfect. No. You know, you gonna you know it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. You, you know, there's a lot of crap out there. Mm -hmm. But you know, I feel like that's that's the beginning, and and that's gonna hone your skill. No, nobody comes out the gate. Just being like amazing, yeah. you know. Takes time. Eric. Yeah. What is the perfect role for Jacob Vargas in a movie? What? What? Do you, what? 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 Haven't you played that you really want to play? 
You know, bro, I, I, I don't think in those terms. I just, I, I just want a, something that, that's interesting that, that, that keeps it fun. Right. You know, uh, for me, man. So I, I don't, you know, a superhero would be amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's always fun. You know, there's, I haven't done a lot of action. Okay. You know, so an action movie would be cool. Um, I mean, right now I'm, I'm just enjoying doing the comedy. Yeah. You know, I'm enjoying doing the, you know, the sitcom and making people laugh. You know what's cool about th this show, <coughs> Mystery Glasses, was is that it's like you can enjoy it with your whole family. Mm. Mm. You don't you have know? to be afraid. No, man. Like you know, like my wife and I will be like watching TV, you know, and and my eight year old will come in and we're gonna go, wait, 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 stop, yeah. pause it, pause Air, it, Air cover, cover your ears. Oh, it's, <laughs> she's like, what's going on? It's like, why is she moaning? I'm like, oh, it's it's, uh, <laughs> it's scary. Uh, you know, she's in pain. She's, she, hurt you know, her, she hurt her leg. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, so so it's always like, oh no, that's Chucky. Just close your eyes. It's, you know, so but with this one, man, you know, it's like. My 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 eight year old is, is is excited about it. My yeah. fifteen year old is excited about, about it. You know, my, my wife wants to see it. You know, my so 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 there's something for everybody. That feels good. In show. And it feels good, man. And and I feel like it's it's gonna bring some some joy. So it's on Netflix. That means we can binge the whole thing, right? Yeah, you can binge uh, the entire ten episodes of of this season like Im immediately. When you know, does it so, start? Uh, well, midnight, bro. So so June twenty first at midnight, you can binge it, man. And what's cool is we're getting like a global release. A lot of times. You know, ah, you, you, you get these like, like regional East releases. East LA only? Right. <laughs> right. No, bro, this is, this is going global, man. So, That's beautiful. That's beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's pretty dope, bro. And, you know, it's been amazing, man. There's been like billboards, you know, with, with our faces on yeah. it. Like, and it's a very diverse cast, man, which is, which, 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 which is an awesome thing. Okay, where, where is the uh, the school set? What city is the school in? The school is set in uh, in Long Beach. Awesome. Actually, which, which is uh, uh, Fluffy uh, Gabriel's uh, alma mater. Right. right, man. Yeah, so it's... So they, he always says, with the, you know, a, a nice sizable donation, they were able to use, you know, the name of the school. Oh, nice. Yeah, Ooh. man, the the colors, the, the the mascot, everything, man. They even talk about the like their rival school, like Polly, ah. and you know, so they're they're keeping it very um, authentic. We have yeah. Jacob Vargas in the studio. Um, I was going to ask you, you play a history teacher in this yeah. series. What was your favorite subject in high school? Was it history by any chance or no? Bro, um, hey man, I, I was never the best student, um, <laughs> but but you know I, I did enjoy math though, man. I, I thought I was really good at math. Mm. That's why we and, get along so and, well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I I wanted to become like an accountant, uh, you know, or or uh, you know get into e economics. That that was, you know, that, that's what I enjoyed doing. Man, I, I took an e economics class in high school, and I remember what was dope about the class was we had to create a business oh, from scratch yeah, from scratch on and, your and own we decided we we're gonna sell like these teddy bears with t-shirts that you can that the students can buy and give to somebody like like a love gram or whatever and you know and so we had to go we had to you know find a, a distributor and and purchase these these teddy bears and 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 sell them and you know and so i was i was like the treasurer so i was in charge of going to the bank nice. opening up the bank account and i thought that was like the best uh, um, experience because I was able, I knew how to how to balance the checkbook, mm. you know, and, and I and I kind of learned about like compound interest and this is in high school. This is in high school, man. So it was it was dope, bro. So like I just remember like I I really enjoyed that part of it because they don't really teach, teach that. that. No, man. No, still no. to this day. Just to this day. Yeah. But, but, I, but I, like I said, bro. But with technology now, man, there's no excuse, bro. There's like right now, <clears throat> online. I'm taking a course. Uh, on uh, on in investing, okay, you know, you know what stocks, yeah, or what you know ETFs are, what you know, um, so and how to be a long term investor, you know, or a day trader, whatever it is you want to do. But because th that was kind of a mystery to me, mm -hmm. you know, because you know, I mean, I, I got, I won't lie, man, I have my money with with a financial advisor, yeah, you know, and and he's investing on my money, but I don't know, and you want to know I where wanna, your money is exactly, and, and when he says something, you want to know what the hell he's talking about, right? So you're never too old to learn, right? No, never go back bro, to school bro. at any age, right? Yeah, bro, and you can find. Courses for like you know, bro, ten bucks. Yeah, it's cheap. You know? Yeah, you just gotta bro. put the time and the effort into exactly. it. Exactly. And as an adult, I mean, I know me as a as a, a student, I was like, I'm busy doing other things. There's other things that I want to be doing. I like music and I want to do this. I wanna... So I wasn't really totally interested in school. Right. But now, as an adult, it's like I really don't have a, a, a not a choice, but I don't have an excuse. Right. You know, not to learn something. If I want to get something done, and you know, what are you gonna pay somebody? If you don't have money to pay them, what are you gonna do? Figure it you out. Figure it out. Right. YouTube, right. do it yourself. Right. Jacob Vargas. The yeah. studio with the Baker Boys going way way back to the Selena movie real quick. Mm. I don't think we've ever we probably haven't had a chance to discuss this. I don't think we've ever talked about the we the never Selena interviewed movie. back in the days, right? No. Okay, so your experience on the set. Um, uh, tell me about the the feelings, the emotions, to, and then how big the movie came out to be. This was 
this was an amazing role for you as a young kid, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, it was, uh, well, you know, first going back, I, I, I was very fortunate. I got the opportunity to, uh, to read the actresses that were screen testing okay. for the role. Okay. So, so there were like five actresses that went, you know, that came in. Um, you know, one was, was was obviously Jennifer and, you know, Constance Marie was up for yeah. the role as well. You know, Amy Garcia from Lucifer, um, you know, and there, there were a few other actresses. And so I, I was reading the role of, of A.B. and uh, and Chris. OK. You know, and so so I think, you know, I was kind of gunning for, for the role of Chris. Yeah. Obviously, you know, I, w I wasn't, you you know, be the love I, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> that much of a stud, yeah. you know, so, so I got AB bro, but that was such a gift, man. Totally. Um, cause you know, he really like embraced well, me and, and, and can open his doors to me. And, you know, I, I kind of lived with him and his family for a That's while cool. and, uh, and it really opened up bro. But there were just a lot of raw emotions cause it was, it was so fresh. What, um, were, the, were there family members on the set? Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Uh, Abraham and uh, and Marcella would would come, and, and Suzette would come every now and then. But AB would not come to the set, and Chris would not come to the would set. Would not. No. Was it too tough no. for them? Uh, you yeah, think? brother. Yeah. yeah, man. It was it, it was it was hard, bro. But you know, but it was it was it, it was hard, and it was. It, but at the same time, it was beautiful to see the support of the community and just how much you know she was loved. So Gregory Nava, right? If I'm not yeah. mistaken, they, you and him and everybody, this entire cast, the writing did an amazing job. They created a masterpiece that will stand the test of time, because the woman stands the test of time. You know what I mean? So right. to be a part of that was is awesome. And yeah, bro, it's beautiful to see. Like my my daughter loves Selena. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, and, and my eight eight year old loves Selena. And I feel like this this our generation is passing that that down to to, to to the younger generation yeah. because the movie is so universal yeah it's really about the the, the american dream mm -hmm. you know and believing in yourself and 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 you know in kind of conquering uh and, and you know breaking that that, that glass ceiling because selena what did a lot of first man you know she totally she had a, her clothing line you know she was cross crossing over to, to the english uh you know language Sector, music yeah yeah man so she was doing a lot of things man she broke down a lot of doors yeah Awesome, man. Yeah. I just wanted to talk about that real quick because yeah. we never really had the conversation. Jacob no, bro, but, but, I'm, but, I, but I love just how, you know, people are still like fascinated by 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 her and, and her music and the movie. The, it tells the story, you know, for us that didn't get a chance to see all of the reality of what was happening with her and the music and, and all that stuff. So to be a part of that and for it to stand the test of time, it's just, it's amazing. And you're yeah. still here today and you're still working and you got a yeah, beautiful bro. family. Yeah, knock on wood, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Eric, did you want to do bro, well, you special? guys too, bro. You guys, you, <laughs> man, you, you guys have nine lives, man. You guys, <laughs> you know, you guys are everywhere, bro. You just so don't I, stop. I love that you guys bounce back. Yeah. I, know, I, was, I was just going to ask him, you know, his daughter is 15 years old. Is she, yeah. How are you dealing with the boy situation? Is she have, starting to have boyfriends? Is she starting to talk about boys with you? You know, how do you... You know, bro, I, I, I wish she would, but, you know, she has a great relationship with, 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 with her mom. You okay. Know? So I know they talk, and I know, like, you know, I get, I feel like every father has this where he walks in the room and, and then all of a sudden they get really quiet. Quiet, yeah. You know, and it's like, oh, what are you guys talking about? You know, and mm -hmm. you're like, oh, nothing, dad. You know, and I'm like, hey, I, you know, I was a boy once. You know, I, I used to be like, boy, so I can help you out. Yeah, like, dad, yeah. you know, so I just think she's just. Embarrassed still. Yeah, man. But, you know, yeah, obviously, like, you know, there are boys in her life. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, you know, but she's, she's just now like liking boys. Gotcha, and, gotcha. You know, and yeah. Who's the practical joker in the family? Um, Anybody? I say I am, bro. Well, you know, I am, and <laughs> and, and my, uh, Ava, the the, the eight year old, is. I think, bro. I think we're, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking. It, you know, our family has a lot of humor, man. Yeah. And I, I, I and I'm, it's, I'm really grateful that that everybody has a sense of humor, man, and we can all really like goof off and uh, and just have a good time. Nothing is too serious in, in, in our household. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good fun yeah. right there, for sure. All right, man. I appreciate you coming in here. Congratulations Dude, I appreciate on the new you show. Me, man. Of oh, course. Yeah. You're oh, always man. welcome to come back. Nick well, B, I think oh, we should you, play bro. Have You Ever with them. Yeah. You, you want to sure? do that? You uh, want to do that or no? Right. Let's do it. You got questions? <laughs> you know what questions I got, <laughs> man. All right, we it. got a game that we'd like to play with our, our, uh, our guests here. It's called Have You Ever. Okay. Here are the rules. Let's go. And now it's time for the new game show that's sweeping the nation. With your host, Eric and Nick V, where they ask the questions people think about but are afraid to answer. But not here, it's no holds barred. So let's get playing your favorite new game show. 
Why am I nervous? Why am I nervous? <laughs> Don't be nervous. Should I, should I be nervous? It's the Make a Boy right, Show. Okay. We have special guest Jacob Vargas playing Have You Ever Today. Nick B is going to ask some questions, and you just answer them to the best of your ability. They're quick fire the, the questions. Best of my ability. Okay, quick yes. fire. Yes. Okay, so, I can't think of it too much, right? right no, not yeah, too much. Don't, have, don't you, think. have you ever farted in a crowd? Yes. Have okay. you ever had genital warts? <laughs> no. <laughs> have wow. you have you ever no. have you ever stolen from your mother? Uh, no. <laughs> No. You have to think about that for yeah. a second. I, well, I, I, I think I've stolen from my dad, but not from my mom. <laughs> I got a question. Have you ever watched midget porn? Oh my midget God. porn? Yes. Hasn't everyone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, curiosity, bro. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course, of course. I, you, I do everything at least once. <laughs> have you ever made a sex tape? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a yes. No, no, no. Yes. no. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. Have you ever broke into your partner's phone and looked at their messages? Broke into the, the yeah, phone? Yeah, yeah. No. Hacked their phone. No, yeah. no. Try to hack their phone? No. Yeah, no. Have you ever sharded? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this morning. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Have You Ever. You did a good job, man. Yeah, yeah, thank man. you, brother. Good job. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't so bad. No, no, no. It no, wasn't yeah. that bad. So we got to get some harder questions, Eric. Oh, yeah. We, we got to get some definitely. <laughs> well, we don't want to make them too uncomfortable, just borderline just uncomfortable. Just a little uncomfortable. No, yeah, that, yeah, that was borderline uncomfortable. <laughs> that was a borderline. Was good, yeah. It wasn't yeah. too bad. All yeah. right. So it's the Makeup Boy Show. Thank you for tuning in at 56 After the Hour. It is now time to say goodbye to Jacob Vargas. But we say it goodbye a, a certain way. Okay. And Nick V likes to do this. You hear the music change. The mood changes in the room. So we right. call this mouth love. Mouth love. Yes. Okay. You want to explain uh, this a little more, Nick? Me? Now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it pretty much catches yeah. everybody yeah. the same way. All right. Don't, should, and he's wearing a pink hat. You should. Yeah. So, <laughs> you, should yeah. you should read the hat. What does it say? Mouth love. Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Hashtag mouth love. Yeah. Nice. I, don't don't nice. feel bad. Ice okay. Cube was in the same chair. Ice okay. Cube did it. And he did mouth love he as well. He did mouth love. Okay. Yeah. So if, you, if, 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 if it's cool different cube, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah exactly. If you oh. want to be down with the cube and you already have been Friday too, yeah. mm-hmm. be closer to cube now. All right. All right. So <laughs> this is mouth love. Uh, this is a, a guard. This is a cloak of positivity. So when you walk away from us today, no matter what happens, whenever any meetings, any yeah. casting calls that don't go so well, it doesn't <laughs> matter because you have... Mouth love. Protection mm-hmm. for your mouth from Nick. Okay. <laughs> All you have to do is repeat after me, but first Just you have to follow take along a deep him. breath, please. Mm-hmm. Hold it. Blow it out. It's so beautiful. One more time. Deep breath in. Blow it out. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And if you repeat after me, follow along. you will be in mouth love. I am one of a kind. I am, I am one, one of a kind. kind. I am success. I, I am, am success. success. My time is precious. My time, time is precious. precious. There is no room in my life for negative anything. There is no room in my life for negative. no room in my life for negative what? Negative anything. (laughs) Negative anything. Anything. Yes. Yeah. I I was just editing as I was doing these. Okay. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. I am strong. strong. I am am invincible. invincible. I, I am a woman. woman. Yeah. yeah, we're women. Yeah, I, I think we all have an internal woman. We're, in we're, all, yeah, we're yeah. all born as we women. Are, we right. were born as women, right. and then we all and then we develop into men. Yeah. Yeah. So, congratulations, you are Thank now you, part man. of our family. Thank wow, you, man. Right? Yeah. Jacob I, feel, I feel so uplifted now. Yeah, I feel like I can conquer the day. There you go, yeah, and you can man. wear a bra. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> You can get a big yeah. shit now. Love you, brother. Thank you. Oh, bro. <laughs> it's supposed to be her. It's the Baker Boys Show. What's going on? This is Drippin' Every f- day. Oh, boy.